showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Pietal. And today we're making crispy seasoned arbi, also known as chara root. Arrow root. <laughs> and uh, believe it or not, when these uh, uh, little uh, root-like things actually grow into a plant, they grow into elephant ears, which is known as patra. And oh, uh, it's yeah. a Gujarati dish that people make. Yes. But uh, today we're going to show you how to make uh, this in the root form. And it's a very simple recipe. So. Um, what we're going to do is, we've got actually got a pressure cooker over here. And actually one of the tips I would like to really give uh, before we uh, go further, and when you're buying the um, arbi, make sure you get a similar size uh, pieces, you know, because again, you're going to be cooking it, so you want it to cook at the same time, you don't want half of it cooked and half of it uncooked. Anyway, so that's what we've tried to do, and uh, it is, again, it's very hard to tell uh, whether it's um, you know good or not you know but if you take the smaller ones of course they're a little tender so they're a little tastier as well so what we've done is we've really quickly rinsed them uh, rinsed the arbi so that we can go ahead and pressure cook it i've got a pressure cooker here okay. i'm going to go ahead and put that in and we're going to go ahead and put in uh, put in some water and we're going to put in just so that it covers the arbi now, arbi is a really, really good source of dietary fiber, so um, it does have a lot of starch in it, uh, similar to potatoes, but a very good source of fiber. And then we're going to go ahead and close it, turn on our pressure cooker, close the whistle, and we're going to give it three whistles and then turn it off. So the arbi is actually boiled. Um, and it looks wonderful and we have actually, we put it under cold water a little bit and we peeled it. Now it peels just like potatoes. Uh, the good thing would be if, if there's a one line, you know, you just kind of open it up, snap it up, open. The skin is a little tougher than uh, potatoes so it kind of just right. peels off nicely, very, very easy. It does feel slimy so if you uh, feel it is, it is slimy, it's okay, it's, nothing has happened to it, it's not spoiled or anything. So. <laughs> actually, the first time I ever cooked this, I actually thought it was spoiled because, I mean, it is slimy on the yes, outside. Yes, it is. So, but so not can, to worry. <laughs> right. So anyway, we've let it cool down a little bit so to point so that we can at least touch it. Now, you don't want to use very, very hot stuff. It is going to burn your hands. And, uh, and we have a, a non-stick skillet here, heating up on medium heat. And I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil on here. Now I put a little extra in here because, uh, of course, the more oil, the crispier our crispier is going to be. So yes. a little extra oil this time. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one of these. Of course, wash your hands. And I'm going to just put it between my palms and then just gently push it in. And it just flatten it out. So see, this is what, and of course, the thinner you make it without breaking it, the crispier it's going to be. And try and do it evenly so that, so it crispens evenly also. And you're going to go ahead and put it in the oil. And then we're going to repeat the process for the rest of our oven. Now this is of course had best fresh. Mm -hmm. This is my family's favorite. You won't believe it. Actually, if you're making it for your family, and uh, you can boil it and keep it at this point, and you can just flatten it out, keep it on a plate, and put it in the fridge. And then, when you're ready to um, eat it, then you can do the fine process at that time. Okay. And we're going to wait for it to get a nice, crispy, golden color and crispy at the bottom, and then we'll flip it around. And we'll cook it on this side as well. And we're going to go ahead and flip it. Oh, it's a beautiful golden color. Mm -hmm. And if you can, if you need to, you can gently push it in. But when you push it in with a, a spatula or a thing, just make sure you slide it so that it doesn't 
When you pick it up, it doesn't break. You're just kind of gently doing it and just increasing the size, making it a little thin. Okay, so it's nice and golden brown, so we can go ahead and take it off the flame. And we're going to put it on a paper towel so it absorbs the balance of the oil. And like we said before, this has got to be had fresh. And what we're going to do now is, I'm going to sprinkle some salt on it. And some red chili powder to taste. <laughs> but you know, uh, Arbi doesn't have a whole lot of, it doesn't have a strong flavor. Thing, so the chili and everything just really takes it up a notch. Right, it does. And here's chaat masala. Perfect. <laughs> I was trying not to say that. <laughs> okay, and, and there's Amchur. Amchur gives it a very nice kata or dry mango powder, sorry. It gives it a very, very good flavor. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just flip it around because you want it on both the sides. Oh, my mouth is open. <laughs> I'm there just waiting go. for her to finish. <laughs> <laughs> so finally it's Ready to eat? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to begin. Yes, yes, I will. Let's Absolutely. do that. Mm. It's very good. Yep. Very I'm good. telling you, if you put in, put in more oil, <laughs> it'll be really, really good. You don't usually catch us saying this, but uh, definitely for this recipe, a little yes. extra oil goes a long way. That's true. Anyway, join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.